Hi, we're going to do a follow-up on this twin flame and soulmate thing so that people get a good understanding. All right, <clears throat> soulmates for a simpler way I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to simplify it. Soulmates is like when you have somebody you meet in your life and y'all share a lot of special feelings inside. Like when you be around them, you just feel like everything is all right there's no problems you know soulmates console each other there for each other and they make beautiful love you know soulmates a lot of us is coupled with our soulmates you know you know because your relationship is kind of more smooth and boring than fighting and lots of crazy chaos stuff that's soulmates now Soulmates also come in groups. Soulmate could be people you socialize with on Facebook, people at work, you, you know, co-workers. Those that feed your soul in ways that you don't receive it from other friends or whatever. Those is considered like starseed family, like y'all is from the same constellation. So that soul family from that constellation it could be the wolf, the ibis, um, meaning from Cyrus, Orion, you know, different star constellations. They tend to group together and have a soul bondage, and they feed each other um, energies from close, long distance to, for healing, whatever the case may be. They also nour nourish each other and raise each other spiritually in higher realms as far as knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and love and affection. Now, soulmates also now help in the ascension process. When soulmates get together, it's like they seek higher than just a regular do. I'm not saying that it's all the way high because it's not. It has only a certain level to it. It really is more of a physical. Now, I say physical in this sense because now you have what's called twin flames. Twin flames now is beyond the physical. It's now metaphysical. It's spiritual. That's the bottom line. Twin Flames is really a spirit that was separated, went down to um, matter and became two separate souls, feminine and masculine, you know, man, woman. And then they wind up separating more in matter and becoming physical. What happens is through adversity and sometimes a lot of different traumatic experiences cause one of the twin flames to have some type of um, their consciousness and their subconscious unite into one and they have an awakening and when this awakening happens it triggers the other twin flame to start waking up too so they start to question their reality and a lot of things that they're going through question the way they're living everything in general. They could be married to somebody else and all of a sudden realize it was a big mistake. You know, so when that happens now, it seems like a connection, an umbilical cord connects the two together where somehow coincidences with them both start occurring until they awaken. These coincidences now is get deeper because sometimes they might have crossed with their twin flame and wind up having sexual contacts with them and this wind up leading them to have a really tight soul connection meaning they feel what the other person feel the other person know more what's going on and is in tune with the inner self of the other person more than that person is in tune with their self because they're going to be in the state of having their dark shadow side and they're going to repress it and keep it a secret but the twin flame is there to show him his dark um, side or show her her dark side and reveal it. And that's going to cause adversity, a lot of arguing and fighting. So twin flames do a lot of arguing and fighting. They are the chaos. But the reason why it happens in such a way that it's chaos in that way is because they're constantly building, constantly building. So they have to destroy what they create and redo it again better, always improving themselves, purifying themselves through the flame. 
And so this is now where you have the twin flame and it's gonna be like the most active in the fucking and passion and love making. Even when they're not making love, they feel a sense of euphoria and ecstasy, always still climaxing and still coming, even if they're not physically having sex. It's just how the energy of the Kundalini flow when the two spirits come together, I mean souls come together. Now the trick to it that makes it complicated with twin flames, they can't just um, cohabitate together in a relationship. They have to ascend because you see when you're talking about twin flames, that's an order issued by God now. That's the higher source. Believe it or not, you would have to stop playing those silly games you're playing as far as your belief system and learn the hierarchy of who you are because you come next in the line after God, which is spirit which is God, we're going to call that the unknown because nobody was there to identify it. It was always stood at an unknown state. It's just energy. With, now, if somebody was there to see it, they could identify it. Same thing like subatomic particles. If it goes unobserved, it don't have no identity. It's not real. But as soon as you look at it, it forms and structure comes. So that's why you can't name the first or know what it is. So we just call it whatever you want, God, for now. But anyway... <clears throat> Once you realize the hierarchy, if anything, and you have to come back up, then the two of y'all will get together and ascend, working out your differences, not in differences of just your mortal mundane ways, because they don't deal with the mortal mundane life. We're talking about the darkness inside yourself to clear it out, to be the light. Look at it like the yin and yang symbol, and then another one of just a clear circle with nothing in it. You see, when you're pure and you're one with the, each other with the twin flame, you just become that clear circle with nothing in it. But right now, you're the yin and yang symbol, half light, half dark. You have to get the darkness out of you. That's how the twin flame come together and be one light. I hope y'all get that straight. University of Conscious Science, one love.